In today's video, I want to take a look at what actually is pthread underscore t and to clarify certain things about the ID of a thread. So first things first, pthread underscore t, if you hover over it or if you take a look at the source, usually it's going to be an unsigned long. So technically, we can simply print it out on the screen and right after Peter Trick, we can say print F, print F. Uh, it's a percent UL because it's just an unsigned long, not an unsigned long, long. And then just TH of I. We only have two threads, by the way. And if I try to run this, you'll notice that we do get, in fact, two numbers of, they're quite large numbers, but these are the identifications of those threads. And this is really what uh, pthread create and pthread join are using to talk to the same thread. So if we create two threads uh, with pthread create, pthread create sets these uh, numbers on, these, on this array that we have here. And pthread join identifies each one of those threads using exactly these numbers. And another thing that you can do if you want these numbers uh, inside of the thread itself, it, there's a function called pthread underscore self. And this doesn't take in any uh, arguments, it just gives you the pthread underscore t uh, thread here. So you can simply, again, print it out on the screen if you want. So I can say here percent ul and just th in our case. If I try to launch this, we should get it uh, we should get two of the same uh, numbers on the screen. And we do, in fact, get these two and these two together. Okay, so that's one and the same. Now, usually you shouldn't ever do such a thing as to print it out on the screen thinking it's a number because on the specification of the pthread API, it's actually said that pthread underscore t should be treated as an opaque data type, meaning that it's not always guaranteed, guaranteed that it is going to be of unsigned long type. It might be a, an unsigned long long or an integer or a character or even a structure that has certain members to it. So because of that, you should never really uh, work with the values themselves inside of it. You can assign uh, one Peter underscore T to another, that's fine, you can do all that, but do not actually assume that uh, Peter underscore t is actually of a certain type like I did here with printing it on screen, but this is just for uh, demonstration purposes. Now another similar concept you might have seen is with the, you know what, we have the get pid functions to get the actual process ID. Well, Linux actually has a similar function called get tid and that gets the thread ID. And to call this is a bit more complex. I'm gonna call it actually using, again, it's a percent %d backslash n, uh, but I'm going to use syscall for it. So I'm going to say here include sys slash syscall dot h, and I have here to use syscall and use sys underscore uh, get pid. And this guy actually returns a pid underscore t, pid underscore t, which is basically an uh, assigned integer in this, it's just an int in, uh, on this implementation. But this get tid, even though it stands for thread ID, it's Linux specific. So if I try to, for example, let's remove this printer so that we only have one, one time printed this value on the screen. If we try to launch this, you will notice that we get two different numbers, right? So the first thread has this, um, this p thread underscore t value while it also has this thread ID. Now these things are actually different, namely that the p thread underscore t is an ID that is managed by the, the p thread API itself. If you think about it from a software hierarchy perspective, uh, on top you have your program, below it you have the p thread API, and then below that you have the operating system. This pthread underscore t is managed at the pthread API level, right? So it has nothing to do with the operating system below. But this tid that you have here is the actual internal thread ID inside the operating system. 
and this is specific to Linux. Um, so do keep in mind if you ever uh, encounter these two concepts, they are completely different, they have nothing to do with each other, although you're probably going to have different numbers for different threads, most more often than not, but uh, don't assume that they are the same, of course. Namely, if you ever read the documentation of GetPid or uh, really everything to do with processes in uh, Linux, you're going to see this thread ID or thread group ID uh, quite often. And this is what it refers to, the internal thread ID, not really this p thread underscore t. So just to clarify a couple things. That's it. If you do have any questions, leave them down comments below or on our Discord server. Again, the source code for this is going to be found on our website, link in the description below. Hope you got something out of it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.